Alright, set. Three, two, one. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the B&D stream. And if you're here, then... Uh, hello, how, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Uh, today is the 19th of September, 2022. It is a Monday. Every single one of these streams, like... I haven't been counting, so at some point there will be a stream number 100. I don't think we're there yet, but... Uh, every single one of them has been on a Monday, except for one singular one was on a Wednesday and one was on a Friday. And that was it. Only once. So, uh, it's nice and warm. Get outside. Uh, did anyone realize it's the equinox, uh, sometime from Wednesday to Saturday? I can't figure out which date is the, the middle of the sun cycle, the even sun and, and night. So, maybe it's tonight, actually. Who knows? Uh, but we're in the light half of the year, so... Or if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, the dark half of the year. So, sucks to suck. Uh, anyways, let's jump into it. Uh, so, yep, it's another stream of Tomb Raider, but uh, you'll be pleased to know if you have been hating Tomb Raider. Uh, well, actually, no, you haven't been hating Tomb Raider. No one's expressed any hatred for Tomb Raider. Uh, but it is, yeah, this will be the final stream of Tomb Raider 2 asterisk there is a uh, a downloadable set of levels that i will be playing out next week um and if time permits maybe i'll get one level in of that today uh we'll see how it goes uh but that will definitely be it uh at the end of next week which is just in time for october for the spooky month uh in the last stream uh we went into the ancient tibetan monastery and uh, fought off a bunch of dudes attacking monks and uh managed to find i guess the thing that is the key to the door and we're now gonna grab that dagger psych whoop well that's been anticlimactic isn't it uh so yeah you get you get baited a bit that's on you you may be wondering what uh what happens if you jump to the side yeah no nah. It's, it's worse than falling for it. <laughs> well, I guess you're literally falling for it, so... So anyway, let's, uh, let's follow the, uh, the line of reasoning. We fall down the pit. Grab the ledge to minimize fall damage. You still take a fair bit. You take a solid bit of fall damage here. Uh, you gotta watch out for the slicey blade. You got a ball coming after you. There goes the ball. You're falling backwards. Uh, still falling backwards. Oh, falling down a waterfall now. Down the waterfall, out into a cave. And also it sucks you away a bit, and then you go down another waterfall, because why not? And there we go. We have finally made it into a pit of eels. Even better. Okay, let's get out of the pit of eels. Uh... Oh yeah, you thought it was going to be that easy to get the dagger? Ah, not at all. They'd never make it that easy. Um, yeah, we're in the home stretch because the dagger's right there, and that's the ultimate treasure that we are aiming for in this uh, in this whole game is to recover the dagger. Uh, no. It took our sweet time though, uh, and like classic uh, Indiana Jones, you put in all the effort to open the door. Uh, well, we'll get to that. I remember seeing a... I don't know, the, the idea of a water pit here just gave me a quake kind of vibe. Uh, look at that, we got, we got a little mini temple in the cave here. It's clearly indoors, but they built it. And there is a tiger. There's two tigers, twin tigers. Even better. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I hope you all have had a wonderful week. Uh, and uh, we'll have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, for me, um, definitely a bit more of a snoozy, couchy week, uh, and one where I actually stayed up way too late last night. Uh, so I'm going to try my best to... That's not a bouncy pad, is it? It is. So what do you do after you cut up the bouncy pad? Why did they put a bouncy pad here? I assume because the front door is closed. Uh... 
Yeah, no, I stayed up way too late last night, and uh, I'm going to try my best to stay very awake this stream, but I, I think I'll be fine. Uh, I mean, I have to be fine. I have definitely had, like, some real, like, conker sleepy streams. Uh, I've tried my best to... There is an eagle! Welcome to the Hotel California. I... I don't know any other eagle songs. Someone's gonna tell me off. I'm like... I've not... I've not listened to any eagles. I listened to, um... Uh... Camel today. I didn't listen to the debut album, I listened to the second album. I forgot what the name of it was. But, uh, it was on one of those lists. Gave it a listen, I was like, there's, there's a bunch of jams. I've got to understand the overall structure a bit more. Uh, you know how a lot of those old albums are, and especially, uh, the Canterbury scene <laughs> stuff. I can never digest it fully on a first listen. Um, what else? Oh, I kept hyping up the Mars Volta album, and it finally came out on Friday, and, uh, it's unfortunately a bit mid. I don't, I don't hate it, um, but it's like, ah, uh, it's it's woefully not catchy. I'm not finding it like to be too memorable, which is unfortunate. It's definitely toned back compared to other Mars Volta, which will probably make it very uh, approachable for people who don't like the Mars Volta. Um, but on the flip side, I also feel like mm, there's. There's a level of technicality and um, kind of abrasiveness that the Mars Volta are especially good at. That there's a bit of a splash. She turned blue after hitting that. That's how. That's how bad that is. Uh, I think what you got to do is. Oh well, I guess you could do that. Should we keep going? I'm pretty sure you can like hang off the bottom, but I guess the question is, put it in all the effort to to get back on. Okay, there is nothing left to grab. There, there is nothing. I think you have to grab back over to it. Like, I don't think you can drop down like I'm doing here. Yeah, it looks like you guys got to go from that lower ledge. And crawl gradually across there. Um, yeah, it's not... It's not particularly... Um, like exciting beyond a handful of singles. I think the the, the lead single, um, Black Light Shine, is definitely worth the listen. Um, I think that the, the follow-up single, uh, Graveyard Love, I don't mind it. I think it's really nice. Uh, really nice, good song. Uh, both of those songs seem to end kind of sooner than you'd expect. They feel like they're building up to something really big, and then they end up not having anything that massive after it, which is kind of odd, but sure. Uh, there's, a, there's a handful of other tracks on the album I thought were kind of neat. Uh, the track immediately afterwards um, was pretty neat. I, I think there's some good melodies here and there, but lots of the songs have this like homophonic texture. They don't have too much really going on um, around the, the, uh, the pretty much the vocal melody. Uh, the guitar is often doing a noodly thing in the in the left ear, and it's doing it. It's pretty all right. It's it's decently interesting, but uh, unfortunately, it's like that's the whole gist of the album, really. Uh, so it doesn't really feel sophisticated, uh, like the um, the efforts may uh, ask you to believe. But uh, it just kind of feels um, phoned in is probably too strong, but. Uh, it does kind of feel like that a little bit. It's not a, it's not a bad album, but it's, it's like, it, it's nearing forgettable, which is not great. So, uh, I have a really like sh strong like rating system where it's like I, like my ratings sound like they're a bit lower. Um, I'd give it like a two and a half stars because I feel like it's definitely above average, but it doesn't break into like the the really great kind of angle and certainly not up to the um the peak of other Mars Volta albums I think it's uh a lot weaker um I'd recommend uh if you haven't listened to it oh this yeah I remember this like confused the heck out of me so you could barely like one okay so you can't climb up right here what you gotta do is you gotta jump off and flip okay don't wait 
<laughs> Wait, no, no, not in this case. <laughs> there was one where you had to jump up and flip. Not here. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. Uh, I guess you just do a regular backflip and then jump forward. Okay, not not quite that, but we could we could do a take two. There we go. Okay, that makes way more sense now I think about it. After seeing the spikes on the right. Got it. Um Yeah, yeah. Not not hundred percent my cup of tea. Um well it is it is kinda of my cup of tea, but I feel like uh, personally, I think the the 2012 album uh, before they broke up, uh, Nocturna K, is certainly a much more valiant effort. Um, this is going to be interesting. If I fall down the middle, I'll get some shotgun ammo. The middle, right? Okay, no, one more than the middle. <laughs> one more. <laughs> Also gonna take full damage. Oh no, uh -huh. we're good, we're good. Okay, then let's just nail the jump and oh. Well, it's not, it's not really any better than that. So. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's a, there's been a lot of wild stuff in the news recently, which uh, uh -huh. has been um, absolutely insane. Like, not as in, like. People are crazy, but more as like a like man, you know. Like, did I like miss a week? There's like so much news. Um, I'll get the grenades. You're like, you can't pass grenades in this game. You're gonna want them. Okay, let's let's just back up into them and pick up the grenades and uh -huh. move on. There we go. Uh, but yeah, uh, I got a list of topics. Uh, one of them is the GTA 6 leaks that just happened today. One is uh, my failure in predicting the AMD review embargoes. I thought they were releasing last week, but no. It might be tomorrow Australian time. Actually, well, I guess when I go live, I'm, it should be Monday everywhere in the world, so there you go. Uh, Oh, look at that. We're right back at the beginning, and I've opened the door. I appreciate some of these levels that are a bit more, um, straightforward linear, like you're not doing key hunting. But this level is, like, pretty, pretty direct. Why am I struggling to swim up into... There we go. Cool. Uh, but, uh, on the flip side, we also have the NVIDIA conference, uh, keynote, on Wednesday, 1am Australia time. Uh, which means certainly Tuesday everywhere else in the world, including the other side of Australia. So, uh, it's an hour and a half. They're going to do a lot of stuff. I'm going to take a huge, bold prediction, and they're going to do that, uh, like, I am AI, like, kind of thing at the beginning, where it's like, I'm even the composer of this music. This is, uh, what is this, the Terracotta Army? There's like a model in the front, and then there's just pictures in the back. Uh, and this is obviously a keyhole that Lara refuses to operate. So, let's just keep going. Uh, so, why not let's dive into the, uh, the GTA 6 story. Um, so, uh, disgruntled Rockstar employee, probably... Uh, has uh, leaked uh, about nine minutes of footage, uh, pre-alpha footage, uh, just generally, oh, oh, <laughs> look at all these conveniently sloped rocks, you know? Uh, but they've leaked, uh, yeah, six minutes of, or nine minutes of footage from uh, what is probably Grand Theft Auto 6. They've, uh, lots of the footage has, uh, Debug gizmos, it's got lines that effectively just draw out um, things that the devs are debugging. So whether it's, um, I, there was one that had like a lot of like arrows pointing forward off a cop character. Um, was it a cop character or was it like another character? Um, point is, uh, a, lot, a lot of debuggy stuff. Lots of placeholder, like text on screen and UI. Um, which I always love how, you, oh, I can't believe I fell for it. I should probably... Oh! 
Oh, oh, oh. I see the health, but I, I'm like, mm. Oh, now you gotta get to the other side. Ah! Uh, it's a bit painful. It's a bit of a oof. Uh, <laughs> um, so, it's certainly not representative of the final product, and honestly, uh, I don't know if any of it is even... Well, maybe some of it is representative of... Um, sorry, not representative, but some of it is uh, content. Like, structured... Uh, you know, dialogue set pieces that will appear in the final game. There's uh, characters who uh, ramble on for a bit of time with proper voice acting. Um, so there's definitely like bits that are, if they're not finalized, certainly they've put in the full effort to do a full demo, which uh, maybe they, they do indeed do that for shareholders and like, why am I struggling to do this jump all of a sudden? I like, I nailed it the first time. There we go. Very odd. Alright. Let's do a big jump. Oh, I think that's my problem, is that I, I hit the ceiling there and I know I'm gonna lose my time there, so let's uh let's back up. Let's get this jump right. Um but yeah, uh the footage itself, uh I personally kind of look at it and I go, eh. It it does look a lot like GTA 5, and maybe that's because it's, you know, internet compressed video of, um, of a video game, and especially a new video game, and lo lots of games look great. GTA 5 still looks fine of a game, um, and it's got so many, like, quality of life things. Uh, quality of life? It's got a lot of detail where other games fail to, to have it, uh, and it's certainly... I'd say still holds up. The fact that people do still play GDA Online, like, quite avidly, and the fact they still make content for GDA Online is uh, certainly a testament that uh, they've done something right. But not even, like, huge rocks. This, well, I mean, oh, oh. I mean, they are huge rocks, but they're like giant dice. They're gonna do one last one. They are gonna do one last one. Oh, I wanted to, like, trigger it like that. Man, that's going to be a tricky one to trigger, isn't it? Um, there it is. Uh, yeah, no, it kind of looks mostly the same game. Maybe there's some minor things. Uh, I feel like there's probably more work into improving the AI, which is quite remarkable. I think the AI was uh, decently smart in GTA 5. Kind of hunts you down undercover. They respond with dialogue. Uh, at good appropriate moments. Hey, we got another flare moment. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is... Well, I'm hearing it, but I'm not seeing it. Uh... There we go. Oh, man. <laughs> I was like, I was like, no, they didn't just release an enemy on me. Yep. There you go. Of course there'd be a tiger. Of course there'd be. Just one tiger? Okay, it's very dark. Get another flare. <laughs> Pull it in there. Uh, there's a door. Oh, I guess up here. That is a clear secret, but you've got a time getting past that slashy thing. Got past two slashy things, even better. That seemed like the actual intentional way to go, so now I'm curious, what's up? Nothing, actually. I literally quick-loaded, there was nothing up. Okay. Just take the hit, we go down, we, we do it all over again. And let's go. Alright, there's a door behind me, and that... 
Off and, there we go. I was thinking it's like, there's gotta be an enemy here. Right? There's some eagles, nothing too bad. They're from the first level, the eagles. So, not too bad. Uh, but yeah, obviously, lots of placeholder stuff. Um, so I guess the, the question is, why, Alik? And I, I mentioned it was a disgruntled employee, and uh, they're, uh, I think they're effectively, oh, there we go, just in. Uh, they're effectively trying to blackmail uh, by claiming that they will release lots of source code off the game. Uh, I think obviously since this is never before seen footage, um, it only makes sense that like, oh, you know, this guy had to have been an employee. This is not like a, a hack, this is just, there's a guy, this is his checkout of the game at some point in time. And that one thing you gotta know as well is when people do like these source code leaks, uh, either they're really silly and they just left the company, for some re- like, that would be the most obvious thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, I think you gotta hang off. Cause, like, there's no jump from here. Oh boy. Um... Oh, I guess you could jump for that as well. Uh... But, uh... But yeah, like, sometimes people just do it just to tarnish the company. I think as much, like, money as this guy wants, uh, well, he probably uh -huh. he probably is gonna ask for some money. Maybe he wants compensation, but more importantly, I think he's uh, wanting to tarnish the brand of Rockstar, which is uh, as a developer studio, it's like eh, Rockstar is kind of one that has like kind of uh -huh. they're very guilty of silly crunch. I think that they're uh -huh. at least good in the sense of they do spend. Uh -huh a while on games, and it definitely shows that they, you know, have put in the the polish and they're not just like reworking the game over time, uh, constantly shifting targets. Um, oh. I the, I, there is a thing on the ground. I, I don't want to use a flare because it's not like entirely uh -huh. dark. Okay, pull this lever, and we've got a bunch of platforms just suddenly stuck out of the ground. I love the, the eerie kind of sounds. Oh, there's spiders. I actually jumped. We did it. <laughs> I jumped at a spider appearance. This is just, oh my gosh, they came up so close on the camera, bro. How am I supposed to deal with that? Oh. Um. Yeah, yeah. It, it seems like he wants to tarnish the, the reputation of Rockstar. We'll just say that. Um. But, I don't know. I don't really think releasing incredibly pre-alpha stuff is really gonna damage Rockstar's reputation. I think a lot of people, one, know that a GTA 6 is happening, and it's not like a, oh, you know, Rockstar, I never met- You see that? That's an ama- that's what I call the- the quick telly. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Um... So, we got a bunch of platforms. Uh, I think my goal is I gotta stand there. Okay, that's a that's really gotten out of a jump. Um, uh, definitely, these are slippery slopes, and I don't want to jump on them. So, oh, and I seem to be letting go of the run button a bit too soon. Well, I get to do the uh, the telly again, or I could just slide off and just jump down the normal way. Uh, that is more than the normal way, I think, actually. No, let's do the telly. Um, yeah, as for the financial, like, angle, it's like, well, yeah, maybe once his, his, uh, his benefits. I'm not, I'm not paying attention to my jumping, apparently. Um, now, the, I guess, uh, another question is, uh, some people might ask how, and, yeah, I guess, I guess the obvious thing is, like, a, you know, a lot of developers would have, um, in fact, a lot of tech companies don't, Great. What is going on there? Weird. Uh, they don't like 100% lockdown. Like, you work in this area, so you can only check out this. It's like, eh, devs are devs. You can check out everything. And on top of that, like, it's a game. It's, it's going to build into one final product. 
Uh, so. Makes sense. Oh! I wasn't expecting a bounce pad. <laughs> Maybe I should have expected a bounce pad, I don't know. I was expecting it to just be like a trigger switch. The bounce pads is, like, certainly the, like, most throwing me off element about this whole game, I'll tell you that. Maybe that's why it's, like, glitching out, is because, uh, you shouldn't be jumping past the, the horn there. Very weird jump. Maybe I should save on the platform. <laughs> uh, there we go. And then, uh, yeah. But, uh, I don't know. My, my opinions of... You're trying... Like... This guy is trying to blackmail Rockstar. It's real gutsy. Real gutsy. It, it, w will it work? Uh, maybe, but like what, it, what he has done is criminal. It's, it's certainly like, you know, uh, some people will cheer on the internet about it. And this is a platforming and a half. And I guess I dropped down here, but wait, can I just make my way back up? No, no, I can't. Okay, take two. All right, jump. Oh. Uh, there could be more boulders. I am not 100% certain, but, uh, Everyone loves it. There's an eagle. And, yeah, I, I'm looking at that going, uh... How do you get that? Oh! Eagle! Eagle, hi! How you doing? Greetings, Lord blah, blah, blah. How you doing? Uh, you are the eagle, apparently. <laughs> you have greeted me in this fine Chinese temple. Uh, I was just talking about, uh, the, the guy who has leaked GTA 6, uh, footage and... Has he actually done source code or like yet? Or is he just tempting the source code? Uh, I haven't seen like crazy amounts about it. Um, uh, for, for me as a consumer, I guess this is the thing is that from a consumer angle, what does a leak actually indicate? Like in this case, uh, cause I remember The Last of Us 2 was leaking like uh, a month or two before its release. So the things that we were seeing were effectively finished cutscenes and uh that included the the sex scene the uh punching abby shot that everyone loves um i'm gonna pull this one out i don't think this is a push uh i'm thinking i'm probably gonna have like multiple blocks i've gotta kind of defend here because i'm like this is uh too big an area for just to be one block you pulling out right it is just one block. Interesting. And there's another switch. Which has revealed something. Oh, it just revealed the ledge next to me. That implies, did I grab something? That's... There's a boulder right there. There was a <laughs> There was a boulder right there. Um, can't believe it. Hi there, boulder. How you doing? Okay. Let's bolt. <laughs> oh, I got turned left. Oh, down the slope. Okay. Now I'm back down here, but why? Oh, because I grabbed the mask at the end. So this is above the starting room. The only problem is it's lions. Tigers, actually, not lions. Um... Yeah, I, I don't have too much to say, but yeah, as a, as a consumer, what does a leak actually mean? Uh, for a game like this, and especially a game that's in development, it's not cancelled, it's just, it's in development, it's clearly going to be a thing. Um, I don't think this leak really means anything to an end user. I think if you wanted to get hyped about GTA 6, well, here you go, here's some footage of something. 
I think it's always interesting for games to document how they go over time. Um, so if you can find anything about any game in development, uh, let's hop down and get mauled by tigers. Uh, GTA 6, yeah. Um, so yeah, one guy releasing about nine minutes of very dev footage. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, this early on doesn't really mean anything. I don't, I don't think it really, like, matters to an end user, uh, in this case. Uh, so put in, yeah, put in the mask in, go down the slope. And, uh... <laughs> I, I, my brain was like, oh, there's something moving towards me. Yeah, just, just ate that wheel, apparently. Oh, it's not triggered yet, you gotta... There you go. Get out of here, wheel. All right, here we go. Go, go, go. Oh. And... Here we go, 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 go. Oh, whoops. Whoops. <laughs> and sliding down the slope. Everyone likes slopes. Uh... Oh. It's a death trap. Oh, you gotta pull the... Pull the box, right? No, that's a door. Um, this is a switch. Real crafty, fellas. Real crafty. That is not the only switch. There's another switch here. <laughs> now, of course, there's another switch on the other side of the room. You can see the ceiling is coming down on me. Is that it? That's it. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks, killer ceiling. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, it means nothing except that at some point Roxy will try to kill modding for GTA 5, push people to 6. Uh, granted, they've really tried to kill modding for GTA 5 for a long time, and it's, uh... Um, I feel like, you know, if the easiest way is to literally, like, do modder lobbies. I think they actually do do that. They, they group people into modder lobbies, uh, if they detect, uh, funky stuff. Just kind of silent things like that, um, but they do generally kill modding, it's, it's kind of, kind of annoying. I believe that, ah, it's, it's more Okay, so I think closing that door means that this can be swam through, uh, and then you gotta hit that lever over there before the door opens up again, I think. Here we go. Oh, the more I- and I'm going! I'm going! Alright, uh, <laughs> change of plans. I think the, uh... Closing the door and then swimming through the gap and then coming back. <laughs> pulling the lever. That's probably it. Uh... Yeah, yeah. This is obviously, like, beef between this guy and Rockstar, and honestly, I feel like... Uh, that should just play out. We as consumers, like, it's an interesting thing we're looking into, but it's not, um, it's not particularly meaty. It's just knowing that there is the presence of a meal, uh, somewhere. And, yeah, I guess what, like, we knew about GTA 6. Uh, man, that's a, that's a spicy moray right there. Get out of there, moray. Oh, that's why you gotta pull the last lever, because, uh, one, the Moro is trying to eat you, and two, you have barely any air left. Wow, you there's really not much air to do this one, is there? So now I am drowning, and I'm gonna need another med pack, and I'm now gonna get sucked away, and I'm going to swim up. Nope, I'm just gonna drown right here. <laughs> cool. Oh, I didn't even save before that. Dang. The only way they can kill Monty for GTA 5 is how they managed to do it for GTA 4. Uh, how they managed to do it, uh, yeah, make, make the next GTA more attractive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the honest way of doing it. Um, and, like, honestly, like, every GTA game is a solid single-player experience. I have never felt really dissatisfied. Um, so there's, there's something worthwhile. Um, the grand scheme of things for these games. 
Uh, them killing modding, like I guess any multiplayer game, I hate the the idea of games constantly being updated with their services uh, to the point where they then remove those games from you or, or heavily gimp them or do whatever they want to basically like just pressure into mm -hmm. buying another title. Think about this room. It only works in old games. Yeah. Like, it, it, I mean, yeah, like, it only works because the, the levers look like the other <laughs> textures. It's not even like, I don't even think they're supposed to represent, like, a similar texture. Um, as an interesting thing, uh, um, there's Tomb Raider Anniversary, uh, which is a 2007 recreation of the first Tomb Raider game. And um, it's remarkably, like, faithful, but it still looks like decently modern it's 2007 so like it's got a bit of its age but uh it's definitely a um like uh i think that there are ways to to convey this kind of um design in oh i just realized like when you pull that lever the water is so high up here get out of here more and a cheeky secret. Look at that, there's a big health up here. Uh -huh. It's worth it. The demo of that game is the only Tomb Raider stuff I've ever played. Uh, anniversary? Yeah, i definitely say, um, if you, if you hunt around, uh, the Eidos collection, um, on Steam is a, a great bundle, but even just, um, I know Good Old Games is bound to have, uh, all of these old Tomb Raiders for fairly cheap. And they're all really good games. Really solid, just... Like, uh, uh, it was a gaming magazine of Choices Monthly Game Disc. There was, a uh, um, I think I played in April. Why did I pull that lever? <laughs> um, I think in, uh, it's either April or May, I, I, uh, booted up a PlayStation, um, mag the official PlayStation, the US PlayStation magazine disc, uh, the first two editions, read through the magazines, and, uh, Played the demo disc, and they had a demo of Tomb Raider 2, and literally Lara walks forward in like level 8 and doesn't actually like. Alright, we're, we're, we're killing this Moray. Where's he gone? Did he just float up? Did I get. I got him. The evil is gone. Um, yeah, literally the demo was just Lara walking forward, and you couldn't control it. It's hilariously like. I, I think in the next month's edition, someone complained that they couldn't play the game. Uh, save? Fine. Oh, ugh, nice. The swim button is the same- sorry, the s- Uh, what's my swim button? Or, or, I guess that would be my interact one. It's alt. Yeah, I literally alt-tabbed. I will probably drown again? Yeah, I probably will. I don't have an eel chomping on me this time, though. So, not that lever. Next one. How about let's just skip the health? Because I did go for the health last time. That's the second health they've baited you with, where it's like you clearly can't get it. There we go. Last switch. And whoosh. Well, then this time I didn't drown again, but that was, I also saved, so... There we go. Uh, moral of the story is don't blackmail Rockstar. I don't think it's gonna work out. Um, I'm not a big fan of really like... <laughs> I, I'm rolling my eyes at how like clearly obvious, but it's like... I'm not a big fan of like really blackmailing anyone. It's like, if you're unhappy with your conditions, just like... Submit an op-ed to Game of Sutra or something. Like, it's just, it's very easy to get your word out. Um, in an official magazine. Uh. And clearly as well, like, you can... Oh, there's more rays! There's more more rays! Oh my goodness. <sighs> Chill with the more rays, gang. Okay, hold on. Let's get, let's get onto this ledge so I can shoot him. Get it. Alright, we're out of the water. 
Get him. They don't even have that much health. It was just they like ducked off. Oh, this room looks familiar, doesn't it? Uh huh. That's a bit of swimming, so I shall do a, a comfy save. Uh, and yeah, let's get the shoot gun. Why not? That's not. That's just the edge of the the land there. Okay, through here, and... Nice, thanks game. Pull that, uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm going backwards. Oh, I'm really going backwards. I'm going somewhere. Okay, I'm being sucked into another dimension. <laughs> oh, they did put a key at the end of this other dimension, so how nice of them. Let's, let's uh... Oh, come on, get the key. There we go. Is this another one of those, like, bait? Oh, what's this texture? What am I looking at here? Who knows? Oh, look at that! Oxygen! And very miraculously, it's like, whoa! <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, somehow all of that just loops back here. And then, uh, yeah, if you didn't realize, uh, there's a keyhole in here. I didn't glance past that, but I was like, oh, yeah. No. That's not the right key. Where does, where does the gold... Where does the gold key go? Is that... Okay, that, that's that's the old... Um... Feel hard done by if they've led me back here. But that's not the right key. Um... Underwater stuff uh -huh. allows for more loops. Uh, true, true. It's very easy to have, like, routes going on. Have you played Guild Wars 2? I have not played Guild Wars 2, nah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very easy to have just, like, rooms on top of other rooms. Um, I've not opened this. Was there a keyhole here? Yeah, there was. Yeah, there we go. I guess, I guess we saw this one already, so... All that means is that this level is gonna keep on going! I had quite a bit of underwater content released 10 years ago, but uh, it's not been added because people don't seem to like it as much. I don't mind underwater stuff. I actually, I really like it when it's um, decently laid out. Like, this level right here is, like, you know, you can recognize the rooms pretty nicely. Nice, nice. Did that just open up because I swam over in that direction? Oh, and now I'm trapped in a room with another moray. There's a there's lever? Hold on, I'm gonna pull the lever. It's done, Moray, stop chomping on my nuts. Uh, that, that, okay, so that gave me freedom, and does that also give me freedom up here? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I remember that one. There we go. They use underwater stuff in new maps, but sparingly, and more for movement challenges than normal combat. Uh, oh, for swimming combat? Never mind. Never mind, swimming combat is uh, certainly a uh, spooky territory. That was an interesting platform, is it not? Um, I, I do like underwater when it comes to either puzzles or uh, just general navigation, which is pretty neat. Everyone likes the spider's den, you know? They're just coming out of the walls. There we go, there's no more spiders. Spiders are extinct uh -huh. now. Okay, that's just gonna be- Oh! That's- <laughs> That's a big one. The music got me again. Oh my gosh, the massive spider. I did not ask for this. I did not ask for a massive spider. I- I take it back. I take it back. Okay. 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 No, no, no. We're good. We're good. I'm not- I'm not jumpy. It's not even Halloween yet. Uh -huh. Here I am, jumping because of big spiders. I'm a wuss. I'm a wuss. I'm, I'm getting afraid of big spiders, bro. Ah, oh, this room. The combat is what makes the judging distances important. It is an MMO with that kind of combat, after all. Yeah, I... Oh my gosh, there's a second one. Oh my gosh, there's a third one. <laughs> okay. Big guns. 
Uh, we're doing the Uzis. Get him! Oh, was it just one? He just jumped. No, it was two. The other one just doesn't care. Get out of there! Where you going, you big drip? There we go. That shows him who's boss. It's me. Um... Yeah... Uh, yeah, having distances, like, um... I... I don't know if it, There's another one, really. Uh... But I guess, like, uh... I've played, like, some MMOs where it's just, like... Y you are physically swinging and you just gotta know how far away you are from an enemy, and if you're not... Like close enough, it's just, it's pain. Um, the ones with like auto targeting, uh, and they're a bit more lax in, in that regard. Um, I've played like a handful of those, but uh, oh boy, where do I go from here? We go back, we go back. Oh, that's not the jump. That is not the jump. <laughs> a front jump. So as in from this ledge, and then just do a standing jump up like that. There we go. Do you like big spider egg? This is not why I rem I remember the big spider egg. I, I didn't remember it was in this game. Oh my goodness, really? Oh no. Get, get him off. I don't want him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I think we gotta pull the, the gutsy jump onto the center platform. There we go, and that allows the next jump. Why'd they even- why'd they do this to me? They put, they put a spider den. They know I don't like spiders. I'm not like crazy afraid of spiders, like you give me a little tiny spider, I'm not like that afraid. It's the- it's massive ones. It's just massive, really, anything, but in particular the spiders, because it's like, where's the face on it, you know? That key looks a bit alluring, doesn't it? Dude, if you, like, don't save and you just drop there, that's, that's the most heartbreaking thing. Okay, so now I've got that, um, I guess we swim back. Another moray, why not? Yeah, uh, so let's talk about topic number two, which is, uh, tech announcements that have not happened yet because I am talking about them ahead of time. Uh, we've had all the AMD stuff happen. Uh, now we've got NVIDIA's turn. NVIDIA have their keynote at Wednesday, 1am Sydney time, which is sometime on Tuesday for everyone else. Uh, unless you're in New Zealand, in which case it's also on Wednesday. Um, but, uh, I'm not going to be able to watch it live, so it's just going to kind of happen without me. But, this, the stream is happening, and this VOD, uh, <laughs> the stream will be re-uploaded to YouTube before the conference, so my, uh, speculation is not completely out of date by then. Um, obviously, NVIDIA's GTC is probably going to talk about a lot of stuff for, uh, um, the big data center space. But, uh, they are announcing, uh, GeForce content this time as well, so, uh, what people predict is that they're gonna go with basically the same as they did in the last two, oh, they're gonna go with the same stuff they had in the last two, uh, generations, um, which is, uh, they announce a, uh, a, well, actually, I guess they didn't announce a 2090, but they, they, they had a, they had a 2080 Ti, like, right off the bat, uh -huh. which was close enough, sure. Uh, but they're, they're going to have the top three cards. A 4070, a 4080, and a 4090 uh, to supersede the 3070, and the 38, and the 3090. Now, if it's like last time, the 3080 will come out uh, first. Uh, sorry, the, the, the 4080 will come out first. The 4090 should probably follow by a week or so. And what am I? What, what? Oh, the bird has come back into the fray. 
There we go. Oh, hi there, tiger. Let's, uh, let's chuck a small med pack on. Right I'm sorely lacking my uh, my large health packs in this game. I'll tell you that. There we go. So let's climb on that and then immediately backflip. Uh, this is the level that never ends, apparently. Now I'm trying to decipher like what I'm looking at. Oh, it's a bounce pad and it's Zed fighting. <laughs> it's, it's Zed fighting pretty hard. So what's the purpose of going back up here then? We got the bounce pad route, we got this route. Uh, but uh, yeah, the um... I guess the big thing is like, what's different about these graphics cards and... Honestly, like, uh, it's another graphics card announcement. There's not really too much to say unless NVIDIA has the next uh -huh. RTX. If they've got the next, like, big technology to push, uh, that'll be sick. I don't know what to anticipate, though. Um, we obviously don't have any leaks, and that is purely just to get Uzi ammo, and I honestly don't really need Uzi ammo, so I'm actually going to load the save and just try that again. Not like that. Not like that. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I, I really don't know what to expect from NVIDIA right now, because... I mean, RTX is now two generations old, four years old total. Is that just gonna trigger when I pick up the health? Uh -huh. Okay, no, no, no. It didn't trigger when I picked up the health. Uh -huh. And it didn't trigger when I picked up the Uzi rounds. Okay. Maybe they just want me to bolt it. I'm gonna bolt it. Here we go. We got a button. We've opened double doors somewhere. Oh. Got the eagle coming back. I assume that's what they want you to do. I, uh, my brain hasn't yet established what room that was in just then. Uh, so how about let's wait for this and then just like dive down to see what's going on. Is this, uh... What room is that? Who knows? Oh. Worth a jump. There's obviously a secret there. Oh, that's the beginning of the level. <laughs> Jeez, okay. So in that case, this is definitely the right path down here. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say the golden path, but aren't they, like, the dynasty? I feel like that's one over. Uh, yep. Okay, wish me luck. I don't know what's worse, like landing halfway in the middle and then it's just like, you can't like... Okay, running jump this time. Wah. 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 Oh, no, 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 you gotta go forward, Lara. Forward. Oh. <laughs> Can't believe it. Okay, that's definitely the uh, principle. I think you gotta low grab the ledge at the end. I wonder why they never put these in any other two mode games. Yeah, low grabbing. Ugh. And there's another eagle. They really like their eagles all of a sudden. Get over here, eagle. At least the nice thing with the eagles is one, they go down quick and they always come at you because the pathfinding isn't actually smart. Okay, so with these, that would have been shameful if I went up here and the doors were just closed. So I do remember this room quite a fair bit off the top of my head. It's another room where there's a key, there's stuff going on. 
I want to say it was straightforward, but I can't remember. And that music is suddenly cheeky peeky. There we go. Man, I'd I completely forgotten how long this level was, I'll tell you that. Okay, so that stairs, that is not where we go yet, so we're going up the stairs. Oh boy. This is still, this is still the first level. There are four levels, but I can guarantee the last two are fairly shorter. And, uh... We're done with the game, at that point. So, this is, uh... This is one big temple level. Um, I guess I should do a mild retrospective of this game. Uh, I've really enjoyed replaying it, but it's certainly like, man, it is a lot bigger and better, but also harder than the, the first game. Uh, a lot harder to understand. Uh, we finished today. There's the uh, the golden. Um, is it the golden mask? Is that the name of the the gold levels? Is that um, which will be for next week? But the actual game itself is done this week. Let's jump past the dragon. That is not where the dragon is physical. There. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, bonus levels next week. Um, my brain feels like you can do this jump. My brain remembers correctly. It's a, it's a very odd uh -huh. jump. Okay, I'll just accept that. I will, I will just hard accept that. Okay, so obviously that key has to go oh, down the slope. I love this slope. It's a fun slope. Because it leads to doom. <laughs> But it's like, it's like, how do you make a dragon in this, like, blocky, like, level design? That's how you do it. Oh, you jumped! <laughs> Alright, you jumped too far. Uh, um, yeah, uh, what do I predict out of the actual graphics cards themselves? That will certainly be announced, it's not a mystery. Um, uh, I, I, yeah, I predict that the, the release dates are going to be about that point. Um, as for price-wise, I believe that the, well, I suspect, I have no evidence to say so, but I suspect that the cards will cost possibly the same MSRPs as the Founders, uh, 20 series cards, which were higher than, um, the 30 series cards. Uh, the main reason why I say that is because one, COVID kind of threw it all out of whack, but since we're kind of past COVID, um... Oh, there's a ladder somewhere near that guy. There we go, yeah, yeah. Why did... Mm. I'm back on... No, I'm not back on top of the dragon, but like, ugh. <laughs> I, I will say that uh, Tomb Raider, the first game was like this. It's just like, well, how do you make the platforming more punishing? This will be the first major card release since mining has become largely unprofitable. Oh yeah, also the Ethereum merge happened. How has that affected um, GPUs? That's made me feel like I keep seeing people say, oh, that will, you know, everyone's going to sell their cards crazy, but I'm looking at it going, mm, like, will it? I don't, I don't exactly know. Um, but yeah, mining is unprofitable, mostly because ASICs and, uh, yeah, that's now proof of stake instead of proof of work. Um... Oh yeah, energy cost is also kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, that is fire on the left, so let's go to the right instead. There we go, land on there. So now... More ladder to climb. Everyone likes more ladder. Actually, I think I remember where this climbs up. Like, this is a kind of, um, nice fun, uh, oh, yeah. This is a nice fun, um, level just because, uh, oh, 
Oh, I can go left here. There we go. So now we've got the other dragon. Uh, if real businesses become unprofitable because of high energy cost speculation objects, sure do stuff more. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, you're definitely right on that. And, uh... Yeah, in general, it's like the high energy prices is just... It's nutty because, yeah, it's all downstream. Everything relies on energy to some degree. It's just some things rely on it way more. And they're going to feel the grunt first and then the people downstream from that. So down we go, down the slope, down the slope. Here's a question, why am I going down the slope? Oh. Why am I going down the slope? Like, what actually... Oh, I think I'm going down the slope purely so that I can be over there. Uh, the crypto market is under heavy pressure from rising interest rates. All but the big coins have collapsed or begun collapsing as far as I know, and the big ones are down BFG time. There we go. It's a lot better. BFG time? Uh, big time. You didn't you didn't spell that wrong. That's just me misreading it. Sorry, my eyes. Ah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Now there's a slicey boy above me. So let's land on the ledge here and evaluate. Okay, there's... Oh. I do remember the slicey boys not being fun here. Like, you've just gotta do a backflip at some convenient point. That is not... That's not how you grab that. Uh... There we go. Uh, but yeah, no, the, yeah, crypto, yeah, you're right, it's crazy right now. Oh, this is, this is the point where you gotta do backwards jumps like that. Yeah, yeah, like you've gotta be facing the right way for the next jump. And then there's gonna be another slicey boy. So you gotta do another backwards flip and then grab the ledge like that. <laughs> that, that was what I remember the backwards flip. Just... It's necessary, and it's remarkably, like, undocumented. It just kind of happens. Um, we gotta do it one last time here, as well. So, Alright, let's center. Climb up a bit more. Yeah, this is a great big long level, isn't it? Uh, I'm gonna go down the wrong. All right, here we go. There we go. There we go. So, after all that, all that magical climbing, where has this put us? It's put us on a ledge, overlooking the dagger. And uh, yeah, I alluded to Indiana Jones earlier. It's like, oh, look at that. You, you, but normal stuff to find the dagger and yeah, this some guy comes in right after and picks it up. Uh, guy doesn't like his innards very much. Very ominous, very spooky. Got a good butt shot, why not? Uh, so, yeah, welcome to Abstract Level. I don't know why, just suddenly when we exit, we're in an abstract level. Uh, this is the floating, the hanging gardens, the floating islands. Uh... Oh boy, if I remember anything about how this level is structured. It's crazy, because it's just like, yep. Well, yeah. You, you don't... <laughs> the level victory music is interesting, yeah. But, uh, you... You die before you hit the ground in this level. Let's just say that. This almost feels like a custom level, but it's not, I swear. 
Oh. What is rolling? Oh, that's not rolling. That's growling. Oh my gosh. Why? Why? Oh gosh, it's gonna. It's, it's, oh boy. Oh, there he goes. Yep, did you expect all of that to happen? Uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's... it's... It's Jade. It's... Lots of fancy gem. Massive blocks, I'll tell you that. We, I think we commented on the eight cubic meters uh -huh. kind of thing. Uh, yes, by the way, uh, the, they're still floating around and they will still forever harass me. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, we were due for the- <sighs> We were due for the supernatural level, and, uh, well, it, it comes in full force. It is certainly a supernatural level. I am facing backwards. <clears throat> Fixed it. <laughs> Fixed it. All good. That opens a floor panel over there. I believe it's a fairly linear level, but it's not like... I think you are required to pick up a key by the end, and that's gonna definitely uh, irk me if I just remember what the key is. And he's landed! Maybe I should be pulling out like the M4 at this point. You know? That's an M16. I'm sliding, I'm going. Not, I'm not doing the greatest at, like, not falling off this level, am I? Alright, how about let's save after... Oops. I'm not going back down here, I'll tell you that. Well, it... Granted, this is the second last level of the game. So, uh, like, like the first Tomb Raider, the second last level is the painful level. Uh... But yeah, uh, it's- oh my gosh! I am- I'm horrendous today, apparently. Uh... But yeah, it's like a, a, a mild, like... Uh, retrospective, just like going through, like, all the parts of the game. Um, definitely I think this game's rather a- it's a rather interesting, like, follow-up because it's mostly more of the same game. Like, it- it just- it plays the exact same, it's on the same engine. Um, it has graphical improvements for being on uh, Windows 95 and having um, DirectX support instead of just Glide and all the limitations of Glide from now on out. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that kill. Look at that, I'm gonna save. You're happy I saved. <laughs> um, there we go, so let's slide down, let's nail this jump. And then, let's get this guy out of the way. Get him! Takes a sweet time queuing up the, the gun. Whoop. 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 There we go. I always hate trying to grab onto ledges when you don't have a wall to push up on. Someone has woken up underneath me, haven't they? Boy, you! Get... Don't be so loud! Is he just gonna do laps or... Nah, his AI is gonna be smart enough. This is not the most practical weapon, is it? Like, it kills things, but it's, uh... <laughs> you gotta do it while standing still. Maybe not the best when you have to land into a room or, or an area with him. So, good thing uh -huh. they gave me a large health, finally. We, it's about time, you know? Okay, so that... Uh... I forgot what, what that button did, but uh, we'll get there. So, obviously. Really? Really? And 
and down I go. Of course. Of course. You know how this level do be. Wait, I could just ignore him. Like, why do I actually have to bother with him? He's all the way over there. I'm over here. I'm gonna be doing this nutty jump. Oh, did he just jump? No, he didn't. Oh. <laughs> no, he doesn't jump. He just he just goes. He can he can linger over there all he wants. He's not gonna bother me now. Uh, so I assume they use the jade as like kind of a guidance tool in this level, but uh, it's a, it's a little bit weird because it's just you're trying. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! I don't remember having uh this much um, carelessness. I'll just say. Uh, certainly this game is harder than the first one. Um. Both in terms of the levels just being grander in scale, having more things uh, to really look out for, uh, but also just in general, uh, more kinds of enemies and obstacles. You've got lots more traps, you've got lots harder kind of jumps that I am demonstrating my lack of ability to do. <laughs> my goodness. Oh my gosh. I'm putting complete shame to how I've been playing this game up to this point, I'll tell you that. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I got this first try last time as well. This is... There's something wrong with me, I swear. I swear, I'm... Just unable to... It's not like a basic jump, it's certainly a tricky one, but it's like, oh my gosh. I feel like it's pedantic to save after every jump, but I don't even trust myself anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, uh, so yeah. Speaking of green platforms, uh, my last comment on the Nvidia stuff really is uh, I've also got no idea how good the cards will be. Uh, oh, there he goes. Easy enough. Uh, but yeah, I got no idea how good the cards will necessarily be. Uh, NVIDIA's had a pretty decent track record of improving um, their cards. Uh, the main reason why people might not think the 20 series was a big improvement was because the price was uh, much higher uh -huh. as well. Um, so you were paying a fair bit more for the same kinds of generational gains that would keep occurring. Um, yeah, what did I just unlock? Like, I've been picking up these, uh... These, uh... Mystic plaques. So, it's definitely good that I'm getting them, but... Uh... My brain didn't quite click, like, where I'm using them, so... Since this is right at the beginning of the level, though, uh... You know, they can't, they can't do too much to weird me out here. That is just kind of back here. Unless I keep going that direction. And I gotta deal with this guy. <sighs> I should have shot him when I had the chance. Oh, there he goes. What are these things anyways? Like, I guess the, 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 the terracotta warriors come back to life or something? I think that's what they're going for. This, if this is a jump, I swear. Oh my gosh, it is. No, it's not. It's, it's just a little bit too far. It's a little bit too far. It feels so long as a jump though, I'll tell you that. I want to say there's a way to get on top of here. There you go. Intentionally, by the way, because the, because there's a secret up here. Uh -huh. It's kind of interesting. It's just the thing. Um, yeah, I I want to say that is a jump you can make. 
But it didn't seem I could reach it from there, so perhaps... I don't know, actually, because the ledge isn't, like, sticking out anymore. If I back up, and I do the run, and I do the jump, and I'm holding out forward... Nah, like, Lara's falling. She she acknowledges that she's falling. Did I just... I just saved there. I just saved. Oh! Oh! I'm an idiot. I'm actually an idiot. I'm actually an idiot. Oh my gosh. I mean... I told you, I told you, I my brain is mush today. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, it's horrendous. At the very least, it's like, oh, it's the beginning of the level and I've been failing jumps. Uh, so it's not, it's not the end of the world. It's not... Uh... Listen, it just means, it just means you get to hear me for longer. I'm using the automatic pistols now. I don't, <laughs> I'm standing still too much for these guys. like incredibly ominous like guy just like roll up like that all right try me try me try me oh oh got him with the 360 yeah the automatic pistols are doing way better of a job i guess this does mean i can re-acknowledge what the switch was i just activated Oh, my god, my brain. My brain was thinking, ah, there was a switch. No, it's literally... Literally the... The black. That's it. That's all it was. Okay, how about we we'll save, because we got to take out two dudes here. Rip. Rip the save, I swear. Okay, big health time, big health time, big health. And then he goes crystal, let's get the secret, because then I can re-acknowledge that I got the secret. Uh, pick up one, diagonal jump, there we go, good stuff. Uh, -huh. uh yeah, um... I guess the other thing that might contribute towards NVIDIA's prices being a bit lower than, uh... You know, what, what they what they originally were in the RTX um, 2000 days, or at least the same amount, because we've got inflation and all that crazy stuff now. Um, but uh, the fact that when the RTX 3000s came out, that was the first time AMD really had like a full stack of cards to compete against NVIDIA. Um, and I think that's actually a big thing that will probably push NVIDIA to be a bit more aggressive in their pricing, because before... Um, when the RTX 2000s came out, it was nine months later until the, um, particularly the 5700 XT. And AMD's had good cards. They've, like, I think the, the, the Radeon 7 is a real interesting card, uh -huh. but does remarkably well for the price. Uh, that is... That's not a path down there, is it? It's not a path down... <sighs> I'm gonna hate, I'm gonna hate myself so much. <laughs> um, at the very least, I think this jump is easier than going backwards. Okay. Take him out, take out the boy. Um, but yeah, like, uh, I, I feel like one reason why NVIDIA has been kind of free reigning their prices, um, for a few generations is purely because AMD only competes at certain, um, certain price classes. Uh, the RX 580 was pretty, pretty neat. Uh, the Vega cards were pretty neat, but, um, ultimately, <sighs> like, you know, NVIDIA's Halo products were, will eternally be their Halo products because nothing competes against that. <laughs> This kind of feels like I gotta go in here later. You know, like this door should open up. Well, I guess we got a lever. So. Unless I just. 
Well, glad I had my observant head on today. There we go. <laughs> um, oh, there we go. Alright, hurrah, the level continues. The level continues. I've got two of the mask things. See, I guess that's the kind of annoying part, is if you picked up... Or rather, if you missed the the, the plaques, because I believe you do have to burn them on something. Um, I guess you can make this jump. I guess. And then, I don't know what's going on over there. That's just another ledge. But sure, okay. If any of you guys ever play Croc, I get that weird, like, ominous feeling. You know, like, it's just... There you go, there's two, two bars over there. There you go. Midway point. I assume this is a lovely staircase that will let you jump back on top. There might be a goodie back on top. I don't feel like going back on top, I feel like going... Finally, to the end of the... It's not the end of the level. <laughs> you, can, you can tell there's more level. Uh, Croc, uh, C, C R O C. The, um... Uh, no. It's a platformer by Argonaut. And... Uh -huh. She's taking damage from the sword. Not liking the sword. Um, and it's a... It's a decently nice looking platformer. For its time. But it's certainly like... Argonaut's level design was very similar to this where... It was all grid based. They had a lot of nice like um, features to uh, stitch uh -huh. their grid based uh, you know platforms together, but ultimately um, it's uh, it's well, it's a grid based platformer. Also, it had tank controls, which uh, kind of alienated a lot of the players. So here we have this is the actual temple, but the door is closed. We cannot progress in just yet. Um, it continues on. Okay, let's not burn the save, I'll tell you that. Very ominous door, I'll tell you that. And hi there, how are you doing? He's about to crash on me, I'll tell you that. And I just jumped off a cliff. Okay, don't, don't move right, just... Usually I wait for the, like, the impact of hitting the ground, but because, like, it takes its time to land... <laughs> I just, I just bail and just say that. I just love how these guys just float in. Like, I mean, I, I, I know it's like, it's the supernatural thing at the end of the game, you know. What is going on up here? It's a boulder. I remember something weird about, like, the, the boulder. This boulder here. I mean, it's, it's a green boulder. What? What? I do remember that. That, that was, that's a, an interesting death trap. Um, but yeah, uh, so the reason why I mentioned Croc is just, yeah, it's got this, uh, the way back probably wasn't a good, for a goodie, but those who missed the plaques. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since it's the only, the two there, uh, unless they're gonna be mean and, you know, require more. And it's just like, oh, there's an extra one back there. I, I'm not going to be the biggest fan of that happening in the level design. But I do know that there's a handful of, like, routes. Just places you can get into. Down here. And, uh... I'm going to kind of look in some nooks and crannies. Usually they're not doing the mean thing of having, like, platforms hanging out. But... Can you guarantee it? Who knows? Not the sound as well. Hearing, hearing the whirring of probably the flying enemy. Yeah, he's chilling. Well, he's also over there. Oh no, he's he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Look at his big. Sh oh, you can't see it anymore. But he's got big shoulder pads, bro. Uh. I'm on the roof. I, I see that ledge, but. I'm wondering why they're trying to attract me with a, a guy over there. That is a real cheeky jump. This whole thing is really cheeky. This is just like... Like when you think about it, like this is... 
really like raw abstract. It's not just like, oh, I'm climbing a tower. It's like, this actually is just like, well, it, it is the floating islands. These are islands that are floating. Uh, okay. Well, you know, I've had better ideas. I've had better ideas. Um, oh my gosh. It's, uh, uh, yeah, I, I take it back. This game is absolutely brutal. Uh, I think I remember saying at the very beginning that I like this game more than the first game. And I'll, I'll still stand by my word um, on that one. It is a... a the, the, you're not supposed to do this jump. That's 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 not the jump. That just doesn't seem right. Um, but you do have the the ledge there. And that gives me an idea. It's a decently cheeky kind of landing there. Um, wrong wrong way. Wrong way. Sorry, my bad. Ah, but you can't go too far left. Because you hit the, the wall. No. One more try. One more try. One more try. Okay. It just doesn't want me to, to land that. So. And perhaps for due re for right reason. It's... It's... It's, uh... Doesn't feel quite right. So... Uh... But here's the question. Why... What's with where I went? What is with where I went? I think there's more there's more paths to go to. Um, like I think you could probably drop off uh, something maybe on the right. I know we've got that uh, that zip line down there. You could probably like just slide down here if you want it. Oh, not not quite there, but you get the feeling. You get the idea. I'll definitely say. Uh, this is, <laughs> I I always get like, not not embarrassed, but like you know how like there's long plays on YouTube, and it's like they'll be like, oh here's a full game playthrough, and it's just like they do everything like really perfectly. I've played this game a couple of times, uh, so actually I think two two times before, um, and it's like, yeah I I do remember struggling like every single time. And, and this time is, again, no exception. Um, and then, like, yeah, you got those playthroughs of people who have probably played the game, like, a lot of times. Uh, best I can think is uh, maybe backwards down there. And you grab the ledge and then you climb back over. Maybe. Um, but uh, I guess, like, I've got... I mean, I've got games that, that's like that, where I feel like I'm fairly good at it. Like, uh... Um, I beat Hollow Knight just then. I, I've never well, actually, no, bad example. Uh, but I beat Hollow Knight in the week, and, uh, I've definitely felt that it's, like, it's, it's long. Like, for a Metroid clone, it's a really long game. I can't keep going. I, I'm not going to be able to go more right, so I'm <laughs> rather doomed going down. So that all implies to me that this is where you've got to be? But why and what? There's definitely like more slope down there. Maybe, maybe there legitimately is something that way. I mean, like, you know, if you're, if you're gonna lure me having an enemy there is one sign. And I've gone into the pit of despair yet again. Ah, uh, man, trying to decipher what on earth they intend for me to do. I mean, ultimately, am I just going to have that really long, like, platform on the right there? I can land here. There's not, not really anything over here. Uh, that ledge, there's small health I can spot over there. Um, maybe... Maybe there's something on the green platform here, so let's just jump back over. Oh, I said back over. There we go. You see what I mean? Like, maybe maybe this green platform is uh, the guide. I'm just doing weird jumps like that. There we go. 
Uh, well, we got a zipline. How, how many levels have had ziplines? I think two so far, right? The worst part about the zipline is that you just hit a wall. And not just hitting a wall, you go into the pit. Which means you've got to let off and land on the bridge. So my idea of landing on the bridge was correct. It's just the wrong way of getting to that. I'm definitely learning something about this game. Like, the more... Well, I'm learning I'm terrible at jumps. How long have I spent in this level? Like, 27 minutes? There's, there's still, like, a fair bit of level left as well. Like, it's not just like, oh, you get in the building and that's it. It's like, mm, there's, there's some puzzles going on. Uh, the best I can say is that even though I said, you know, there's four levels to do, yeah, the next two are not... Why am I going overshooting it all of a sudden? Um, the next two levels are not too long, so I'll be fine. Uh, I did tease that I would start, uh, the bonus levels, but, uh, yeah, at this rate, um, doesn't seem like I'll be having much free time at the end of the stream, but that's okay. That was a stretch goal of mine, and I shall disregard it. Uh, but yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh, why am I actually horrendous at jumps? Like, I, I don't know why, I'm struggling at a, a number of these jumps. I cannot explain. I actually cannot explain. Okay, jump back, run forward, leap out, grab the ledge. It's easy. I don't know why I'm struggling with that so much. Okay, zip line. And we land on the bridge. It's two blocks wide. There we go. There we go. Easy. Easy. I don't know why I'm so concerned. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the building behind. And, uh... Well... It's the guardian of the switch, apparently. There we go. That's a little curtain. That's kind of cool. Activate the switch, and you can see that the zip the zip line one keeps going, and two. Uh, no, we we're, we're using the grenade. We're using the grenade. The grenade isn't doing anything. The grenade isn't doing anything. Abort! Abort! <laughs> That is amazing that the grenade didn't do anything worthwhile. What? Oh, I tabbed out. I actually tabbed out. Oh. 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 What? Uh, there we go. I saw a flash. I, I think I just tabbed out and whatever was focus was underneath the window. Uh, but the classic thing of me hitting control escape effectively on my keyboard because, uh, shooters control and pauses escape. I will, I will say I long for having keyboard or, or proper controller bindings again. That is, uh, obviously death down below yet again. I will say, I love how wonderfully 90s this level design is. It's just like, I mean, I know, like, right now it's like a spattering of platforms and stuff, but, like, there's, there is some intended, like, shape that everything is supposed to have. Even if it is weirdly abstract jade that I am looking at right now. Hey, look at that. Look at where I am at. Uh, so, yeah, th this makes more sense. You pop out of here, and then... You use that to drop down, which makes a lot more sense. And then you climb back up again, because you're that psychotic. You go, you go for it the second time. Uh, here we go. Climb up. I said climb up. We're just going to climb up this way instead, like last time. Sure. 
Uh. Alright, so same deal again with the zip line, but this time one we're saving here because I'm not just over the ledge. And uh yeah. But no, I, I I've been enjoying this game. It's it's uh, been pain because the punishment of dying and, and your quick saving. Um, I wish I had maybe quick saves on a, on a button. That'd probably be easier. Perhaps the Open Lara project can uh, eliminate um, a lot more. So here we are, the uh, well, the, the temple on the side. We have a block that we can push. Um, this is spitting out saw blades that. Uh, obviously, like, they're moving so slowly, but they hover in the air, because why not? Let's push this boulder. We've got lots of lava everywhere, because what's, what's more awesome than a lava temple, you know? I love me some Rayman too, but, you know... Hi there. I'm technically shooting it. That could have gone way better. That actually could have gone way better. I'm on the other side of the jump, aren't I? Yep. I should have responded to the noise so much sooner. I'm just like... It's ominous, but it's there. And I am paying no attention. I, I think I may have... I mentioned at the, the very beginning of the stream that, like... I, uh... I'm not actually... Uh... Point is, I've been uh, doing terrible uh, sleep organization. I'll just say that. So, uh, so my late nights have been, and I just, I just realized I have my Sherex on. Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay, yell at me yet again because before the stream I forgot to disable my Sherex uh, shortcuts. And guess what? Uh, what a uh, step right is mapped to. Uh, Sh Sherex is a screenshot tool, um, and you can, like, pipe, well, y you can set up automation, so, like, when you, um, take a screenshot, it's, like, it saves it as a file, names it relevant to the program and date time, and then, like, also, uh, you know, you can copy to your clipboard or other things like that. Um, it's decently useful. Uh, one of the shortcuts I have set up is, uh, certainly Control-Delete. And, uh, stepping right is mapped to delete. Or page down, it's one of the two. Okay, we gotta switch, so... It's... At the very least, you can right-click it and click Disable Shortcuts. So you can temporarily turn off your shortcuts. Uh... Uh -huh. It's a neat tool. Uh, in the realm of screenshot grabbers, like, you know, there's, there's a lot of options out there, so... I don't feel like Sherex is the one, but it's, it's one I've been using for a while, so that's alright. Uh, so, okay, so I've pulled that switch. So I guess we hop down and... Can't travel into the void just yet. Actually, can we? Maybe I can. There we go. Okay, big long jump. Points for trying, I guess. <laughs> Points for trying. Not as much. Uh, ooh. Nope. Oh. Well. The, the, <laughs> I don't know what to say, really. I swear you should be able to jump in there. But I guess I can jump down here and there's a switch, so... Oh boy, I have remembered that switch, <laughs> that particular switch, and the joys of swan diving into that pit. That'll be good fun. Oh, I did, I did it again. Where it's like I'm, I'm holding down, I'm holding down like one key. Maybe I should intermission because I, I don't know. I, I I'm kind of confused why I never hit that on the first level, but now this level I'm just doing it all the time. Unprofessional stream. Very unprofessional. That's that's how it do be. 
I'm, I'm amazed that like my attempts at like masking production quality and just like uh yeah I think we go for it um but like uh <laughs> I remember um yeah like uh some let's plays and stuff I did okay so let's do a swan dive because I think you get the forward you are you don't go forward enough you don't go quite forward enough for the swan dive is a running jump good enough? No, not no, no, not a running jump. Maybe there's a block or something you can use. Just feels a bit awkward. Uh, uh sorry. <laughs> Look, who put this here? Who put this here? I'm definitely feeling observant right now, though. Like, if there's one thing, at the very beginning of playing Tomb Raider 2, I uh, certainly felt uh, like I had to over-rely on a guide, on a Stella's guide on tombraiders.net. Okay, and then... How do we jump? How, how do we jump? I want to jump back. Uh, Lara's not doing the... Oh, wait. Is it... Nope. Nope. It's... She's not pulling up into it. She's, she's not doing the backflip jump. I think it's because, yeah, like, she won't go into the crouching pose unless it's, like, a ladder. Hi, Mr. Crip. How, how are you enjoying your college right now? Yeah, like, Lara's clearly not gonna climb down, because that's not a ladder. I can't. I can, I can mildly loosen, but... I can't loosen too much. I was expecting to do a backflip off that, but... Clearly it's not a backflippable ledge, but, like, why is there a ledge there? And there's clearly water down there, so the intention is to get down there. The only thing I can think of is, uh... Well, I was gonna say you go off the block. Like, you push the block into this gap, but I'm like, well, the block's not gonna give you any more forward momentum than... ...just a standing jump would, would it? No. Like, it's not more forward. Uh... So I'm going, I'm going nuts, I'll tell you that. We remembered about communism, so when we had finished teacher tasks, we shared it with other classmates. Nice. Well, I guess we can look in this direction and look into the, uh... Forever Inferno, and there's a guy coming up to greet us. Watch him go! Watch him go! Wow! Now he turns into Jade and blows up. Okay. Uh, so what's with this shallow block here? It's not. It's not even a pushable block. It's just. That's just a ledge. Uh, I really want to say you can jump in there. So I'm just gonna keep trying because I, I. If it, it totally feels like you can just jump in here. Yeah, like that. Oh my gosh, there's more stuff going on down there, jeez. Uh... There's no way you're getting past that by waiting in water. I'll tell you that, so... Tomb Raider 3 has a... Cr no, 4 has a crawl button. And I'm thinking like, oh, this is a crawl moment. Uh... I guess I could jump this. No, I can't. Oh my goodness. I'm amazed how badly I'm judging everything, I tell you that. Like, I look at this and I go... That has to be grabbable. That has to be a ledge you can reach. That's just that just 
That's so mildly out of reach. It's very bizarre. I'm, I'm, I've lost my sense of depth, apparently. I just can't judge angles. Okay, so that's shooting out. We've got this. Just, just cheese it. Uh, another Minecraft streamer that I once told you about. Oh. Oh my gosh. Uh, with his SMP, I think he left his streamer job server because of depression plus real life problems. They said it will open in the end, but uh, not said time. So yeah, I'm still the only one who fought Ender Dragon and Peter Minecraft on the server. Uh, hope that guy gets gets better. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, I always feel like weirded out by. Um, uh, I'll say streamer culture, but like, you know what I mean? Where it's like, there's a degree of like, that is an insta-kill. That was like a drown insta-kill right there. This feels so antsy to, to like go down in that direction. But then... Like clearly this room's kind of weird. There's like, there'd be another, yeah, there's another doorway up there. That's how you jump there. You only jump here to, to get back after the thing. But then clearly this is a passage that exists. Uh, but yeah, like, um, I mean, I know, I know a bunch of people who, like, do suffer depression and other like similar symptoms and uh it's weird like they'll turn to online so that last one is actually like killer as so now i'm thinking like should i be in here because clearly like yeah Part. That that is a block that is right there as well. <sighs> My goodness, um, I can't even slide it here. So like, we're doing it. We're resolving to Stella yet again. I'm sorry, Stella. You you you're the only thing I've got, Stella. I swear. Uh, okay, the Ice Palace, next level, Temple of Xian. Next level, uh, okay, Floating Islands. The lower bridge, green walls with lava walls at the bottom of the first zipline. Uh, okay, arrange the green car blocks so you can drop the thing. Uh, Drop down on the platform and approach the gap along the middle of the room. Safely drop onto the block in the lava below. Flip the switch in the alcove with a trap door above the lava. Climb out the pit jump it over the lava. Climb back up to the switch and you'll find there uh, on the wall. Uh, take a running jump, press action near the surface of the trap door and land in the water. So I was not in the right place by being down there uh, in that kind of center alley of the room. And instead, I've purely just got to hold down action and sail through the air. So just, just, just to clarify, I do this running jump, hold down action, and Lara moves just that little bit more forward that she put, goes over the ledge. <sighs> Listen, I'm mildly disappointed. Teacher has left us for another dimension because it's taken my too long. My mother will return from 10 hours of work faster than I show a word file with complete work. I believe in you. You don't have to feel like you gotta stick around for a stream if you gotta do a word project. And this makes more sense why you're in this room. It is already 1720. Good old 24 hour time. I always got like thrown off because um uh Europe uses 24 hour time quite a fair bit. You love the lava above me, by the way. Very nice. So hey, uh, that's a bit of fun Z fighting, isn't it? Uh that means I actually have to go through this room. Or can I... Oh, I guess they're not gonna like punish me going down one way, but... 
They aren't gonna punish me anyways. Is there, is there really any way to like avoid taking massive damage off these or is it just like wing it with the, the health packs? Maybe there is a switch to turn it off. Until then. So, okay, so I've raised the wall. Uh, oh, and, and then, I got it, I got it, I got it, I, re I do remember this one. So you've raised the wall, and, uh, you use the block to, uh, effectively give yourself the platform you need in order to make the jump. It's really cheeky, though, I'll tell you that. This whole, this whole level is really cheeky. It is, it is linear, but it's also really, really cheeky. And, uh, I'm amazed at how long I've been spending on these levels, because I was just like, ah, oh, four levels, and there's going to be two shorter ones near the end. <sighs> I tell ya, I, 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 I'll be horrendous at judging the lengths of, of games, I tell ya. What's really scary is also, like, other games that you totally can be in, um, you know, an expected amount of time. Like, uh, on stream, I beat Mario Galaxy in five streams. This is stream number five, and yeah, I guess, like, I'm gonna finish this game, but, like, the streams are longer on this one. Uh, we go home at 25 minutes, and she's still not showing up. Hopefully she shows up. There we go. So this will give me the necessary traction to do the standing jump. I think that's all I'm gonna need. I'm, I'm only gonna need a standing jump to get in there. There you go. So now I'm up on this ledge. Uh, there's a wonderful door over there, but we're not going into the wonderful door. We're going... ...off the ledge. We could just jump over there, I guess. Pull the lever. Door opens behind you. And let's see if I can try and jump back without landing into the spikes. I landed into the spikes. Did you finish the Mario Galaxy though? Uh, the final level... Oh, like, as in... With Super Mario Galaxy 1, the, um... The, the hidden, uh, you know, level of the... Oh, Super Mario Galaxy 2, yeah, 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 we, we beat that one. But that game, granted, with the green stars was, uh... Like, double the, the length. There we go, that wasn't so bad. Um, this is a pretty ominous room, isn't it? There's a pit down the middle. I don't see there being really any switches, so let's go down. That is just a guy. <laughs> These are just guys in here. And they're gonna absolutely wallop on me, aren't they? Oh, where'd they go? There you go. Oh, they got daggers. They got daggers. Okay, let's go with the quick fire. We're going with the Uzis. You shoot that, Lara, I tell ya. I tell ya. This is, uh, not very well planned. Oh, very horrendous. Very horrendous. Uh, oh boy. Oops. Oops. Uh. Yeah, I... I do feel like, uh... Like, uh, the, the best streams and the best planned streams are when you know how long they are going to be. Um... With, with the, these Tomb Raider streams, I've kind of tried doing, uh, like, oh, I'll end when a level ends, and then it's just like, sometimes it just ends up being very awkward time. Uh, just how long a level really is. Oh, they're coming alive. This is the worst thing, to have these guys, and it's just fading out because there's too many enemies. Something like that. I don't know, man. This is, uh... A bit gnarly. There's a lot of people going on here. There's especially not a lot of health left. 
Oh my gosh. Jeez. I'm barely gonna make it out alive with the amount of health, I tell ya. How do people do, like, this game with no health kits? That seems crazy with no health kits. And I... Oh. Okay, okay. First rule, we are staying in the center platform because at the very least they can't well the the, the other dudes don't spawn yet number two gonna do that drop down the ledge okay Focus on the guy, focus on the guy. Get here, so here. All good. He's now falling over. Shall now take the beating. And there's one last guy. He's come up to say hi. And he's, he's, he's saying goodbye. He's he's gone. He's made, he's made a runner. Okay, we're good. We're good. Taking it chill. Taking it nice and chill. That's that's the big the big thing here. Okay, the moment I step outside, these guys come up. So, let's get them with the M4, because I'm going to be standing still anyways. And I've been pushed into a pit of fire, because I'm using the M4. I got plenty of Uzi ammo, I'll just take them like this. the fact that it's not just this one who activates. Okay, weird, it was just that one that activated. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Don't do it. Oh. Oh. It's, it's just pain. This is, like, there's so much insta death, like, around these enemies. I don't remember having, like, anywhere near as much trouble on the first game, I'll tell you that. And is it because I know the first game more? I don't know. But. There's one last guy blocking the way, who I think will probably activate when I uh, walk around here, but... Okay, at least these guys have uh -huh. some health and ammo. Health and ammo is always good, always healthy. Uh -huh. There we go. Shotgun... Ooh, big health, big health. Yeah, ah... Uh -huh. uh, I feel like I don't, I don't really have too much more to say, uh, other than, uh... I guess we've got uh -huh. some general video game announcements uh, because there was the Sony State of Play and the Nintendo Direct, both kind of at the same time. Um, okay, that guy is just like chilling on that switch there. Am I going to be able to get him or is he just stuck there? And uh, that is the kindest way to reveal the enemy. <laughs> Only when you walk directly in front of them. The worst part about all those enemies is uh, obviously they blow up and they don't drop health. Freedom! Yes. <laughs> he is free from his shackles because uh, well, he witnessed a Lara Croft in front of him. Hi there, I shall completely ignore you. I am sorry, but I am going to completely ignore you. Okay, you got grenades over there. He, he had grenades here. I, I was like, I can't pass up the grenades. Did he hide anything in this corner as well? No, he didn't. He didn't. Not that I... Well, <laughs> maybe I'm blind. I just didn't see it. But also, he drops big health. And big health is always good. Uh -huh. Always useful. Uh, 
Uh, oh. I was like, why is there a closed door? There you go. Oh boy, something's alive. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can I bail? How about let's not bail? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. I'm, I'm wincing so hard at my, like, inability to play this game properly, I swear. I don't know why I, I'm just, like, I feel completely incapable today. It's like, I don't know if I'm, like, I mean, I'm, I'm getting through the game, but you know what I mean? It's like sometimes you have those days where it's just like, you're feeling... Like you're, you're struggling hard, um, uh -huh. not like a, not like a, a big meaning out of that, but it's like you're trying to play a game and you're just not doing it quite right. Uh, but we're getting there. We persevere. Persevere. That's that's the name of the game. Okay, Those two guys are here. How about? Just get them old school. Get them old school. Get them old school. Okay, small health, small health, small health. Get him with the bullets, he can't fight you with bullets. There we go, there we go. Okay, another save. So many saves, I swear, like, uh, I think I started the, the session with like a hundred fewer saves. It was so much less. Uh, okay, up we go, and it's another one of those backwards jumps. Because why not? Why not have a backwards jump, you know? Okay. Yep. Yep. <laughs> they really enjoy doing these backwards jumps at the end of the game, don't they? And you can see that differently uh, colored wall there. As your key guide of where you gotta be, basically. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Okay, no, nope, we're good. We're on the ledge. The worst part is, yeah, if you fall, that is full spike death and lava. And the best part. Listen, they, they can't go a second without these kinds of platforms, can they? And there's a guy. There's a guy. What is he doing up here? How is he doing up here? What is... Just... Uh -huh. I don't know what's worse. The, the, the guys with the throwing knives or uh, really anything else here. So here we go. One last, one last hurrah for the level. Not a last hurrah for the stream though, but uh... Okay. Fortunately, Lara is crouching, so... Although those discs are still going... Now, like, now they're stuck. Properly stuck. Okay, grab the zipline, and away we go! There we go. Finally done. This is the last... Uh, level of the game, effectively. Uh, this is the... The Dragon's Lair. This is a, apparently a Don Bluth flick. Uh -huh. I've never played Dragon's Lair, actually. But I hear it's uh -huh. like... You know, it, it is one of those trial and error games. So like all good final levels, uh, you know, obviously these guys come back to life in really obnoxious ways. Okay, he's down. I think if I stand in the next one, the next guy comes back. I don't know. Maybe it's the switch first. There it goes. At least there's enough time on the other side of the room to 
really get in there, but uh, yeah. This guy's just chilling over here. Cool. And this guy is chilling. I think this guy's chilling in front of the switch. Cool. He's... Okay, they really enjoy their switches. Uh, oh, look, there's a switch over here. How oh, neat. And we got the double... the double whammy. I think we got the double whammy. We got two guys alive. Okay, let's let's get, let's get a med pack. Let's get the meds. What's worse, the simultaneous attacks or getting double pushed? I swear. There we go. Okay. I love how it's like. I feel like the first game, you, they kind of trickled in like dinosaurs and the the Atlantis demons. Hi there. How you doing? I guess if you really need that, like, last moment of health and stuff, you know? You gotta have a lot of that. These guys aren't even, like, too bad because they throw stuff. And also, they're not, like, too preservationist on their, their livelihoods. They're just like, you know, I'm gonna stand here, I'm gonna throw some knives. Props to them. They're being generous. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh yeah, no, uh -huh. I, I played Hollow Knight and, uh, yeah, it, it took me, I think, 14 and a half hours was my runtime. Uh -huh. Um, and, uh, it was, I did not see those guys a moment ago, but sure, okay. Um, I thought the game was, was fine, alright. Uh, it's definitely quite nice for an indie game, and especially a game of its value. Um, like, they don't charge that much for the game, so, Kickstarter uh -huh. success, you know? Sure thing. Um... Uh -huh. I do enjoy me a good Metroid. Uh, what this game kind of is, is it's a, uh, a 2D platformer of the, the DuckTales variety. It's not necessarily a pogo game, but a game all about kind of a, the, you know, the hopping melee attacks kind of approach. Um, if you played Shovel Knight, uh, very similar principle. You'll actually be doing pogo jumping a bit during the game as well. Um, but it's a Metroid game, so you go through areas, uh, you find maps, you find items that help you traverse the area be uh, better and better, and also gets you through uh, parts. Um, also, here we are, I just would like to mention, um, it's not a crazy long level, we've uh, reached the chamber of the final boss of the game. It's just the dead guy. Oh, wait! Let's pull out the grenade launcher, because... You know how it do be. We gotta go for this. He's a dragon. Uh, do you remember? <laughs> the very beginning of the game? Uh, yeah, he's a dragon. Uh... Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a bit of a doozy. Because <laughs> the boss of the first game was just like a, the ultimate life form kind of thing. Uh... Dragon is well outside my pay grade. Dragons are, are crazy, and I, I think the spookiest thing about the dragon is, uh... His, his fire is, uh, certainly mean. I guess, is this hitting him, though? Is this working? I don't know if this is working. But I'm gonna hope it is. Holy crap, that actually was. Alright, deal enough damage, he falls over. Go over to him, use... Use the, the dagger in the middle, and uh... Apparently you're the dragonborn, because he just evaporated. Uh, so there you go. Make sure you... That, that was it, by the way. <laughs> I kind of cheese it a bit. You gotta make sure he's not breathing fire on you. That's your one catch. Uh, but now we've got to get away, of course. Can't have a level without a getaway sequence. Gotta watch out. Lots of lots of stuff crumbling on you. Run forward and there you go. That was it. So Lara narrowly escapes. Uh, 
Uh, your guess is as good as mine where all the explosives were. Like, actually, where were they? <laughs> Listen, they, they, set, they set the cave up for a, a spectacular explosion. Uh, no, that, that was just the tunnel destroying itself. The dragon kind of just melted. Like, literally, you take the sword out of him and he just melts. Like the very beginning cutscene of the game. So, we have an epilogue level. Where Lara is enjoying playing with the, the knife. And, uh, a couple of fellas pull up. Here comes the alarm. That's right. Well, one, we're in our PJs. And two, we gotta act. We gotta get in there. So there's a key somewhere. I think the key's in the bathroom. Uh, but yeah, no, we have a, a fun little epilogue level of uh, Lara in her home. I, where is the key? I've completely forgotten where the key is. Is it on this ledge? It's not in her inventory, is it? Oh, it, it, it wasn't her inventory. The gun cupboard key. Okay, gotta go quick before these guys come up. Because uh, these guys come up quick. Okay, okay, these guys came up a bit quick. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I, I love just as like a, a little, um, just fun little bonus level. Just to end the game with some kind of, uh, well, I guess, you think you only took two. Well, th there's a bonus, this is, well, not a bonus level necessarily, but it's, it's a level that's, uh, removed from what to do. So, uh, yeah, this is actually, um, a shotgun level. You just, you get all this shotgun ammo. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get all of these guys. There you go. Clear them out with a shotgun. Let's pick up the rest of the stuff. Uh, uh, if you enjoyed, uh, Lara not wearing pants, this is the level for you, apparently. Guy about to like come around the corner there. Hi there. Oh, he's got a dog. I just exploded the dog's face. Oh no. There's another guy. I I love this like dead silence, but like you know there's people wandering around. Oh, hi there. I <laughs> just see a gun like panic. Oh my gosh. Can I, can I at least pick up the flares? Thank you, my broski. You let me pick up the flares. I shall reward you with a buckshot in the face. Come back here, you scallywag. <laughs> uh, but yeah, plenty of shotgun ammo, so don't, don't feel too bad. Uh, especially because these guys don't have that much health anyways. Uh, but yeah, your goal in this level is to hunt down and kill every single one of these, uh, Mafia fellas. It's great fun. And, uh, yeah, just inside Lara's house in the dead of the night. You can continue to explore the place if you want. I don't think these people really invaded this place too hard. Okay, they've got- they've got- Freaking cloaking technology. They walk through the wall. Uh, and obviously I did not use any of my medkits during that final boss, so that's... That's great, so instead I... Uh, I relinquish them all here. Hitman 3 has, a uh, uh, weapon types really... Assault rifles, he's, he's shotgun. Oh, shotgun! Like, a good shotgun in any game is always the most fun to use. Hands down. Doesn't matter what game you're playing, a good shotgun always supersedes everything else. Now, a bad shotgun, if the shotgun feels weak, or things are just awkwardly too far at range, yeah, it's not the best feeling. Uh, I, I appreciate that the full training course is just chilling back here as well. Oh yeah, and good ragdolls as well. Like, um, uh, I know it's not a shotgun, but um, like Half-Life 2's crossbow has that feeling for me of just like, you know, you go bam, and, and, and they go, they go flying. I should really play Painkiller, because I know that game really loves its, uh, its, uh, Havoc physics. Oh, 
There's a guy. Hi, how you doing? Oh, I dropped the flare down there and I'm too lazy to pick it up, so... Hi there, doggy. Hi there, doggy. How you doing? I think he's coming up behind me. There you go. Uh, so at some point, uh, I will have just killed every enemy, and the game cuts in with a, a little ending cutscene. Oh my gosh. Pitch black wall right here. It's a bit, it's a bit lanky to navigate this, uh, because the hedge maze is right here. I guess they want me to go in the hedge maze, don't they? They're hiding in the hedge maze, waiting for me to think everything's all clear. Remember them sneaking into the hedge maze. Might as well save, why not? Listen, I, I say gunplay is supposed to be a last resort. Where is he hiding? That's a big fella. You can barely see. I got him. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Don't don't need a heal. Don't you think you've seen enough? Yeah, you get killed. I don't know. <laughs> That's literally the end of the game. So. Uh, hooray! We did it! That is the end of Tomb Raider 2. Uh, fun little bonus level at the end there. Uh, an ending boss that I surprisingly cheese, and two levels that took way longer than I expected, but... Hey, I mean, it's 2 hours 17 on the stream, which surprisingly ended decently on time, so... Uh, yeah, overall... It's a fun game. I still enjoyed it. I do wish I knew... I didn't have to rely on the, the walkthrough a bit more. Um, it's really just those like odd occasions. Like I read it out loud every single time I went back to it. But uh, yeah, I I sometimes have this like feeling where it's like mm, sometimes these games are a little hard to understand. But again, I, I do appreciate kind of the adventure that this game takes you on and. Uh, yeah, just another bigger and better sequel, I guess. It's a good vibe. Everyone likes a good good bit of synth. Uh, j <laughs> 9 hours 29, apparently. Wow. Uh, key thing is, 24 secrets? I got, I got half of them, so... I can guarantee 9 hours 29 is... not quite the length of all the streams added up. Because every single stream went longer than two hours, so... Uh, but yeah, there you go, you... You... You, you finish the game, you're back to the main menu, what is there left to do? Well, join me for the next stream, uh, where I will play the... All five of the Tomb Raider 2 Gold... Uh, oh, this would have been the fifth stream, so... Uh, so join me for one last stream where I'll be playing the Tomb Raider 2 Gold levels, in the same way as Tomb Raider 1's finished business levels. There's four levels and a bonus level uh, as well. Uh, en enjoy the, this demo in this dark room. Yeah, I don't know, man. So. Alright. Uh, yeah, 11 or 12 hours. I'll do a count up of the time, but I think it was probably... Um, 13? Actually, it might be 13, because I did do some longer ones. Later on, so. uh, anyways, with that, I would like to Thank you all so very, very much for watching. So if you did enjoy this, and uh, you enjoyed the whole game somehow, uh, and my playthrough of it, um, really appreciate it. You can follow on Twitch or 
subscribe on YouTube where the VODs end up. And if you miss bits of it, you can always watch there. Uh, I kept commenting that Twitch was removing VODs to... Um, uh, it, would, it would remove VODs older than one week, but for some reason, like, I don't know why my last two VODs are still there, so who knows. Uh, ah, the YouTube Times plus this. Makes sense. 12, hour, 12 and a half hours? Uh, actually, let's, let's quickly do a How Long to Beat checkup as well. Did I beat the How Long to Beat? Tomb Raider 2? Oh, it's, it's not Tomb Raider 2, it's Tomb Raider II. Uh, 15 and a half hours. We beat we we beat the how long to beat average. So I don't feel as bad now. There you go. <laughs> so anyways, stay safe, everyone. Eat your greens. Don't stay up too late. And have an awesome, fantabulous equinox coming up. And also, don't uh oh, we got tech stuff. So uh, get excited for tech stuff. <laughs> All right. Have a good one, everyone. See you.